Today was the November 2025 Microsoft Power BI release, which is always a great day. It's a great day for me because there is a really easy YouTube video to make, uh, typically, of the new shiny features. And then it's a great day for both of us because, well, there's new shiny features to play with. So in this video, we're going to be diving into one of those features. If you don't already know from the thumbnail and the title, uh, you know, go ahead and hit the subscribe and like button and let's jump in. So here it is, the new feature, not in a new flashy report, but it is this new image visual, which has all kinds of new actions that you can use to create a beautiful button, just like the one I did here. And we're going to be creating this button in this video. And this button is three SVG image URLs. So yes, it is a little overly complex, but look at how pretty it is, man. I just love a good button. Now, before we jump in, I do also want to talk about one additional new thing that I used in this video, and that is Google's new anti-gravity AI platform, which I used to code uh, or generate, I shouldn't say, I didn't code, but I used to generate the SVGs um, in this. So I am by no means a SVG image expert, it's all AI, but I used this new Google IDE to generate this visual. So I gave it a prompt that I wanted to build a button for Power BI SVG visual that will be used in a DAX image URL. Oh, please generate three different images. And I gave it the various states and it generated out this preview HTML so I could see what the various image button states would look like. So here's our default state, then we have a hover, and then we have a pressed action. So as you can see, it's pretty much the same button with just some colors changing. And once I approved that brief, it went ahead and it created a .dax file with perfectly formatted DAX, which man, uh, some of these AI tools are just getting absolutely crazy right now. So I took all of those and I put them into image URLs. I'm not going to spend too much time on how to create an image URL. Um, and DAX, like that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is the new image visual, which I am using right here. Now, what makes this new image visual so exciting is you can have states, right? So here I've got an all, a default, a hover, and a press. And then you can also have different data sources. And one of those data sources can be your very own data. So in this case, I dragged in a measure and I told it to uh, fit. And just like that, I now have a beautiful button that goes small and large and works perfectly. The other thing they also added to this image visual, or at least that seems new to me, is that you can now have actions. So I turned on this action here and I switched it to page navigation, which is why when you hit that control key and click it, it goes on to the next page. I will go ahead and I will publish this Power BI file up onto my GitHub for you to download down below in the video description. But let me know what you think about this new feature. I know it's something that seems really, really small, but it's little things like this that honestly I get the most excited about.